Hello to all the listeners. Today we will discuss on topic bacteriophage types. We have already discussed about what is bacteriophage, uh, what type of life cycle, uh, what type of life cycle is present in bacteriophage. Now we will discussing different types of bacteriophage. There are different types like D1 phages, temperate phages, varicose phages, phages with single stranded DNA, filamentous filamentous phages with single stranded DNA, RNA phages. I will be discussing these one. So T1 phages and even means even number T2, T4, T6 with they mostly infect E. coli, temperate phages, lambda and mu, uh, spherical one pi into 174 filamentous M13 and RNA is cubita. T phages. Basically T phages are specific classes of bacteriophages. T phages which are T4 and T7 both of them infect E. coli. These are the bacteriophages with icosahedral heads. You can see here icosahedral head. They contain a double stranded DNA tail. Tail is having tail sheet, tail sheet, base plate and these are the tail fibers. Basically they also contain collar and whiskers life cycle they perform their life cycle first they attach uh, attach to the bacterium then insert their genetic material through penetration then they replicate inside the host cell after that bacteria is lies newly virus are released from the bacterial cell and they repeat the cycle all over again so basically they perform the lytic type of life cycle Temperate phages. And under temperate phases, we study lambda phase. Lambda phase is having icosahedral head around 50 to 60 nanometer in diameter and composed of 300 to 600 capsomeres around 37,500 Dalton. It is having a flexible, long, con long non contractile tail that is around 180 uh, new uh, micrometer micrometer in length uh, listen carefully its tail is non contractile it means tail will not contract tail possesses a thin tail fiber that is around 25 nanometer long at it ends it uh, recognizes the host like in previous bacteria fast there are tail there are tail fibers or they get attached to the bacteria and but here this tail recognizes the host its genome uh, contains single double stranded dna molecule which is around 48 kb in length temperate fast basically comes under um, uh, basically perform lysogenic type of life cycle it means it is non virulent type of phages whereas T phage is virulent type of phages means infectious as soon as it infects the cell it uh, starts application it starts replicating and form a number of progeny viruses whereas temperate phage is non-virulent it means it infects the host particle but lives in a dormant state when favorable condition arises it again becomes active and performs the lytic cycle and becomes virulent so its life cycles uh, consists of these phages like viruses as usual attaches the to the host cell then ejects the viral DNA into the host viral genome is copied into the 50 to uh, copied uh, around 50 to 100 times after application a procapsid is assembled and packed and then the tail is then assembled and the mature virions are released tail part is a more uh, more complex structure in phages actually they uh, tails are a hollow tube like structure through which viruses inject their genetic material inside the host during infection some of the phages uh, do not contain tail fibers at the end we will study it in next slide certain other structures are involved in these phages for binding to the bacterium during infection they actually uh, tail fibers help in attachment 
फाजस जो बैक्टीरियन कॉन्ट्रेक्टल शीट हेल्प इन कॉन्ट्रेक्शन कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ड्यूरिंग इन्फेक्शन सो हियर नो कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज प्रेजेंट वेयर एज इन टी फाजस कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज प्रेजेंट इन टेम्परेट फाजस इट इज एबसेंट सो द बेसिक फंक्शन इज परफॉर्म बाय दिस टेल दिस टेन थिन टेल फाइबर now we will study filamentous fast filamentous as its name suggests it uh, just looks like a filament a thin filament so in this we studied uh, m13 is the name of the bacteriophage which is a filamentous bacteriophage it contain it is having circular single stranded dna uh, it is having 64000 6407 nucleotides which are long and encapsulated uh, with certain proteins in out of which p3 attaches to the receptor at the tip of the f pilus of the host and they were they are basically used in rdt uh, processes and used in nanostructures and nanotechnology what is f pilus f pilus means you have studied f uh, plus f minus screen f positive screen it means f pilus means pili pili are basic structures of the bacteria which helps in reproduction so f pili means f pili means fertilization pili which are present on the bacteria so m13 uh, m13 p3 attaches to the f pilus part of the bacteria so this is the structure of m13 fast this filamentous like structure single stranded dna these are the certain proteins which get attached to the f pilus part that is this one is f3 this is the basic role of uh, p3 is this it get attached to the f pilus part that is p4 and these are p8 and these are p7 and these are p9 proteins now comes spherical phages spherical phages as its name suggests this generally a circular like structure which is not having a tail so here tail is absent only head or capsule is present and this under this we study 5174 bacteriophages which is having icosahedral head it attaches to the host cell without the aid of a complex tail assembly brion having protein coat which envelops a core that contains both protein and dna so only head nucleic acid and nucleic acid which is made up of protein particles and the dna 5174 was mixed with cell walls isolated from the bacterial host and then virions attached to the wall fragments and the fast dna was released basically these are mixed uh these are shuffled and mixed with high uh, high intensity so they by this they release their virion and, and it is the first dna based genome bacteriophage which has to be sequenced this is how it looks like this is a procapsid means pro primitive one that it is having only protein part or capsid part it is not having nucleic acid that is why we are calling it procapsid when it contains yeah it, when it contains or arrange its dna inside them then we will call it virion see that it is having a d protein it is having b protein and basically this is a look this is looking like a spherical now dna is incorporated inside it single stranded dna which is a circular form is inside it which is attached with the j protein so another three proteins came into light h protein f protein g protein j protein and from outer it looks like this that is the structure of 5174 for spherical phage and other one is rna phages and as its name suggests they are having rna as a genetic material which uh, they infects e coli genome is circular single stranded rna molecule this single stranded rna strand acts both as template and as well as an, uh, this mrna mrna molecule directs the translation of viral proteins because it is of positive sense that's why they can ye, it can act as a template as well as it can translate or it can start translation of viral proteins this is a structure of ms2 bacteriophage you see this this is a capsid protein is a maturation protein uh, and the single stranded rna is present in a circular form
and the other one is q beta fas q beta fas is one of the smallest known viruses measuring about 24 nanometer in diameter it is also having an icosahedral capsid composed of 180 copies of single coat protein genome is circular positive sense single stranded rna molecule and it also infects e coli this is how it looks like spherical phases smallest one spherical phase uh, it is having protein 180 copies of proteins this a2 extra protein density genomic rna is present here this is a coat protein this is how it looks like a spiral region spiral region is of uh, we, this you can see no yeah this is a spiral region it is of alpha chain alpha chain is of spiral region and a beta chain that they are flat chain no? these are the these are the plate chain no? these are the beta region this is how it looks like q beta thank you